What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. For those of y'all already here, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you like what you see, mash that like button. Let's get it. I wanted to go over a few things more about this rotation. Obviously, I'm just going to show you a few things. Now, one, we're just going to go over the basic rotation. No buffs. No nothing, just straight human form with the same rotation. I'm just gonna keep it going just because nature's rotation gets better the longer it goes. I mean, it don't really matter what the rotation is, that's only because the initial start of the rotation and getting your poisons up that kills a lot of time. And that's about you know it's a, it's, a, it's pretty consistent. You'll get about 30 to 34k running this rotation, no buffs, just Oh, we gotta look out. Alright, I think it's done. But we're gonna switch to Wolf and I'm gonna wait for the buff to run out. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because somebody on one of my videos yesterday decides to try to tell me that I don't know the, na the, the power. Right? But in one of his previous responses before that tells me that there is absolutely no point in staying in wolf form after 13 seconds right after you lose the buff it's useless well like I said the whole reason for this is because you're gonna see that without any buffs uh, wolf form does more damage than he did for And then watch, I'm gonna keep the rotation going like I did with the human form. If you remember, it was 30 to about 34k, and this is you know, 33 to 36k. So, as you can see, wolf form naturally does more damage than human form. That's fact. <laughs> And I mean, if you knew the power, you'd understand this. I mean, the buffs are nice and everything, but that 13 second buff, it, 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 it's a small help if you're thinking of an entire boss fight. It's very minuscule. Now we're going to switch back out. And we're going to run the rotation with the wolf form. All 
I think that was it though, but so pretty much you just gonna run it like you normally would, get all your poisons up. Switch the wolf right into your voracious plants, bam. Um, after the wolf switch, I usually only do this five times before I refresh just because of the animation time switching and stuff. And I just don't want to take any chance of using my poisons. Now, I'm only this close for the sake of this video. I'm actually going to show you in a second. And then obviously by switching from human to wolf form with that buff, you do a little bit more damage than either separately, or individually rather. Now we're just going to do the same thing, we're going to keep it going. Now because we don't have the buff or anything, it's, it's probably going to be about the same, you know, 36 to 38k. And right there, just under 36 to 37. And this, this rotation is as consistent as you're going to get as far as the numbers. But, as I've stated a million times, the whole point of this rotation ain't damage. There are rotations out there that do more damage. The problem with a lot of those is you have to be mid-range too close. Which, again, in certain fights, especially elites, is going to get you killed. And what good is your burn if you're dead? Now, as you can see, ready? All right, so the reticle's white, right? Right, you can see the reticle's white. Right, see, it's red. Oh, no, it's red. Reticle's white. Ooh, there it is, it's white. Alright, reticle's white. Oh, I moved in casting my spells and now it's red. But, either way. Now you can essentially, this is a long range loadout, which saves you from having to be anywhere near most elite bosses one shots. Unless of course it's a room mechanic or a full room AOE or you know, a blocking mechanic or an ad that gets loose, you're not going to die. And as you can see, it does the same amount of damage. Oh, oh. <laughs> and as you can see, it did, what, about 500 damage less? You know, and that's probably because of crits or something. You know, it does about the same amount of damage from this distance as it does right up on them. So there's the survivability this rotation gives you. Now, I don't know if you've been watching the entire time I've been doing this and the entire time I've been talking, running my rotation. Once I get into my rotation and I start spamming voracious plants, my power bar doesn't really go anywhere. Now, this is without a troll, and I can sit here for quite a while spamming this. So you don't need a troll outside of a raid nature DPS on this rotation doesn't need a troll inside a, roi a raid so that is more power going to the healer or the tank or the other burn who's more power hungry which just leaves for a much more efficient raid now again the other benefit of being able to sit this far from the fight is the ability to be able to see your surroundings, to 
see the fight, to be able to understand and yeah, see the mechanics coming. Like for example, in Fellowship E, to be able to see the uh, Croatoan spawn in, uh, to be able to see the ad spawn in and call it out to the tank. I mean, just... <laughs> I see it as common sense. Maybe it's because uh, I'm, a, I'm a healer first, and I've always been able to just, you know, scope the room, you know, be, you know, observe the entire room, and, and kind of be aware of everything that's going on. I've applied that to my DPS. But uh, for me, one of the best benefits of this rotation is its versatility. Yes, you are going to do more damage. Overall, if you stay in wolf form, compared to if you don't. That's just facts. And to be honest, I believe that I showed earlier that the human rotation like this, without any buffs, was less than the wolf rotation, same rotation, without any buffs. And then the rotation where I went from human to wolf wasn't too much higher than just the wolf. So instead of that, you could throw in carnivorous plants. I can go over that in a video later and I can show you the difference in damage. Now, but as I was saying, is the best part about this is its versatility. The ability to be able to switch in and out of wolf so that way if your healer goes down you can still switch now you might watch this to be honest you might watch this and say oh those numbers are ass okay dude the whole point of this isn't DPS. This loadout isn't about DPS. It is about doing decent DPS, okay DPS. But the main focus of this rotation is survivability, power efficiency, and versatility. That's it. You're reading too much into it if you're looking at the DPS. Or if you're looking at the DPS, obviously this rotation ain't for you. <coughs> But if you're looking for, let's say you're having trouble staying alive in elite content. If the troll is having a hard time keeping you powered. If you keep noticing that the healer you're running with is dying. And you can't switch. All beneficial reasons to use this rotation. Now, again... The numbers themselves, even though this, this rotation itself is not a DPS rotation, it would actually be doing better numbers if I actually had the right artifacts, one, and two, had them leveled up. If I had the endgame gear, which gives me a lot more might. If I had the max uh, augments, apart from that one, these are only 217, and the fact that I'm only running one augment right now. That would obviously, it's going to increase my damage because it's going to give me more might, which means I'm going to be hitting the adds and what have you higher for more. Like I said, the whole purpose of this rotation isn't to maximize your DPS. It is literally to maximize everything. A balance, if you will. Now, yes, I am an Xbox player. I play on the Xbox. Now, I did play a little bit on the PC, but this was forever ago. And so, yes, I am an Xbox player. But I still... Dude, <laughs> anybody who says this clearly has no clue. You do understand that it's the same mechanics. It is the same game. The powers work the same exact way on your server as it does mine. So if it works on this server, it's going to work on that server. Again, 
it is not a DPS loadout. So if you're going into a raid expecting to be first, I, I don't you I don't know what to tell you. Now, yes, there are, are instances where you are going to get first, as you can see from my other videos. I have gotten first in plenty of stuff. But that's in usually in pug groups or the lower t uh, lower leveled uh, leagues, if you will. You know, any run where anybody's halfway decent or knows what they're doing, you know, the total damage isn't even going to be close. The only damage I'm going to come close on is boss damage. And again, like, I don't understand how anybody can even tell me that it's wrong when I use it. When I do it, I am actual proof myself on top of the visual evidence I am putting in front of you. Now, I edit out some of the parts to make it as, as short a video as possible, to make it as much of, as much as coherent a video as possible. But you can see throughout that I do not edit anything in any way to shape or change what I'm trying to say or show or prove. I let what I'm doing in the video do that. I, am le I let my rotation do it. I let the raid that I record myself running the rotation in do it. Now again, this might not be for you. This might not be a rotation you like. It might not be one that you're able to work with. I get that. I, I get that entirely. The only reason why I made this rotation is because I kept seeing people asking in a few uh, DC groups for a power efficient because with the rotation he was using, he was eating through power. A power that allowed better survivability in raids and four mans because the rotation he was using forced him to be too close and also one that allowed for better versatility so just in case a healer and a raid goes down you would be able to still switch to heal and save the run not a single reason as to why I made this video was DPS and I have, ex I have been extremely clear, extremely straightforward about this point. Yet for some reason, a couple trolls can't seem to understand that basic concept. It's hilarious when you sit here and try to tell me about a power and then say something that's absolutely wrong about that power. That's hilarious. You can't sit here and tell me that this rotation is wrong or or doesn't work because I use it myself. Have used it in some capacity, whether PvE or PvP, for almost three years. Yes, this was my PvP loadout pre-revamp. Minus the wolf that I picked up on a, a video. So, I mean, I know it works. Three years of proof that it works. 405 skill points that it works. Without max augments or artifacts. Shit, I mean, shoot, I got the wrong artifacts, for God's sake. I'm not even using all the right artifacts. I'm missing so many buffs and stats that the damage isn't even where it's going to be once I get those stats, once I reach best in slot. And obviously once I reach that point, I'll make another video and I'll show you the difference in damage. But again, to that point, the whole point of this rotation has nothing to do with damage. Again, there are rotations out there that are going to do better DPS. But if this was a video, or if these were videos on 
top DPS or best DPS, it'd be a different rotation. But since this isn't a video about DPS, it's not a DPS rotation. And either way, as you can see, either from this or from the other videos I've done, it's still decent DPS that's going to allow you to get your stuff done. And to the point where you're not going to be a burden on the group. Now you can say it's the skill points, but I mean, wouldn't that be the case with any rotation you use? If you don't have the skill points, that rotation is not going to hit as hard as somebody that has the skill points. If you have the augments, it's going to hit harder than somebody who doesn't have the augments. Now that might balance itself out if say somebody has the skill points but doesn't have the augments compared to somebody who has the augments but doesn't have the skill points. Might be a balance. But either way you're not going to do maximum DPS unless you have max augments and max artifacts. That's just facts. So hey y'all keep trolling. I don't mind. For those of y'all already here, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you new, welcome to the channel first and foremost. And hey, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for many more, many more videos to come, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Later. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, if you ain't subscribed already. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for many more videos to come. And for those of y'all already here, man, we're going to say it as much as possible because it's the truth. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Y'all be safe. Later.